It is a question asked on 2017 December based on mutual exclusion principle. Let us see the question. The normal modes of ethylene represented by figure below is the, uh, there is a mode shown is uh, which is uh, for ethylene molecules. The options are given. Uh, option one is only IR active. Option two is only ramen active. Option three is both IR and ramen active. Option 4 is neither IR nor RAM active. Mutual exclusion principle. What is mutual exclusion principle? It says that no normal modes can be both infrared and RAM active in a molecule that possesses a center of symmetric molecules. That is, for a molecule having center of symmetry, uh, the both IR active and RAM active modes cannot be possessed simultaneously, uh, both at the same time. The modes, IR modes, IR active modes for central symmetric molecules are ramen inactive and vice versa that is ramen active modes in the central symmetric molecules are IR inactive. So for a molecule to be IR active we know that it should have a change in dipole moment. So this is our ethylene molecule. Let's look whether it is having an IR uh, uh, whether it is a central symmetric molecule. So we can see this on going on so there is a I value, I center of inversion over here. We can see a center of inversion. There is a center of inversion over here. So it is having a central symmetric molecule. So this obeys the mutual as should have should obey the mutual exclusion principle. So let us go to our question. Here they have shown the HCH in plane scissoring uh, vibrations. So, if we check, there is no change in dipole moment. So, this mode is actually IR inactive since there is no net change in dipole moment. So according to mutual exclusion principle, this mode is Raman active. So, the option to our question is only ramen active if you like this video please hit the like button and share this video also for more CSIR videos please subscribe to our channel thank you Thank you.